we're, we're on this path, and, and one of the things I want you, I mean, I get a chance to work all over the world. This, these ideas, right, and, and this direction is absolutely winning. This, this is happening. It, it's just unambiguous evidence that people are move, m moving. And it's very interesting, um, you know, I was critical at the beginning, but you, you, I don't think we all realize a couple things that there's, there's a revolution afoot on, on the waste and the resource side, right? And we've been in the business of doing stuff that's dead weight, you know, that would be viewed in a lot of economic circles as a dead weight loss, right? There's societal benefits, right? But at the individual level, it's viewed as, as just straight cost. The entire field of water now, if we think in integrated terms, can be summed up by uh, one of our, our heroes, actually, in IWA, Philly Verstraat. He said, I used to make wastewater treatment plants. I don't do that anymore. I'm out of that business. I make machines that produce water, that produce energy, and produce nutrients. That's the business I'm in. And whether it's a machine the size of a washing machine, right, or it's a big machine, we are moving from uh, something that's viewed as expensive, is expensive, and for many, uh, for given that only 20% of the wastewater in the world is treated, Obviously, society thinks it's not a very high priority. We're moving from that world to a world where probably India, for example, wants to, to, to connect the sewers and make them work because it goes into a plant that can, be, 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 that can generate reused water that can be sold to somebody else, right? We are in a revolution. And, and this whole Cities of the Future discussion couldn't come at a better time because we, we have this other thing called scale. And the scale issue is immense. And I mean, it's possible right now that all the utilities could get internalized actually into big building projects, right? And I know that in Seattle, even in Seattle, there's a, the, the, a developer is going to make more money off of an internalized utility in, his, in the big complex he's building. He's going to make more money off the utility than he's going to make off of, off of any other part of the project, right? Just think about that. So we're, in a, we're in, a, in, a, in a really bright new world, and I don't think we even realize it, right? We've got new potential because of the whole scale issue, and we've got great potential because of, of, of the resource values, right? And we've got a really big incentive, aside from that, to, to, to basically shield ourselves, and we have to, whether you're operating a big utility or a little one, you've got to get out of the firing line of energy costs because you're gonna get killed, you know? You really are gonna get killed by that. So if you can not only generate energy, think about energy just as, as, a, as a positive, but also be able to shield yourself, right, from the, from the, the impending energy issues, you're in a really f a, a great industry, right? We're gonna move into, you know, into a really hot industry and it's gonna be hottest in developing countries. So um, I wanted to leave you with that thought and, and to tell you that it's really nice to be on this journey with you all and we're, we're, gonna, we're, we're just really just getting going on this, in this field and we'll look forward to a continuing discussion. Uh, to tell you, for those of you who are gonna go to Busan, we have 20, 20 workshops on this subject, uh, all aspects of it, and it's really, really exciting. So thank you very much from IWA standpoint and a very special thank you for, to Per Arnie for coming. And uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing you soon. Okay, thanks yeah. very much.